Good morning, everybody. Well, it's morning here. Um, welcome to another Timmy Talks Mail Day. I've got a pretty cool little package. Let me just get it here for you. So we've got this. I'm about to open it and um, look, I can shake it. I don't hear anything. I should hear something because in here are some uh, custom made dice. So I can't wait to open it and show it to you. You're probably gonna see these dice a lot on the channel. So uh, let's start cracking. Welcome to another episode of Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And of course, we open up old school magic related mail. And I'm saying related because in here we don't have a card. Let me let me rephrase it. I don't expect there to be a card in here because you never know what people send along with these packages. But what I ordered is I ordered a handmade set of dice. So there are eight dice in total. So I have one for me. I have one for the opponent. The cool thing is this is uh, made by Buddy, who is a relatively new Dutch old school player, new to the old school scene at least. And it turns out he also makes dice. He also makes knives. So I thought that's super cool. Maybe I can ask him to make some custom made dice for the channel. And he, he's just a very relaxed guy. He's got, I think, really, really affordable prices as well when something's, if you consider that it's handmade. Um, and yeah, he's just great in communication. Um, he's got his own Instagram, so I'm gonna put a link to his Instagram in the description below. And that, that if you like, uh, you know, if you like what you're gonna see, um, you know, you can contact him and you can ask him, you know, do you, can you make some dice for me? And I, I guess he also does some alters. Like he's kind of like an artist of many trades, I guess. Um, let me just get a pair of scissors here to open up this uh, this package. You just put a sticker on here so that the address is is out of the out of sight so we can keep that private It's a lot of work. It's a beautiful day outside, by the way. So after filming this, it's a Sunday, uh, you know, mail day day. After this, I'm gonna probably gonna go out and enjoy the sunshine. Uh, but first, yeah, we got a lot of, how do you call these things again? There's a word for it. Oh, look at this. What? This is a wooden, this is a wooden case. So there's a dice case here as well. Okay, that's pretty sweet. Let me just take it out. It's very, very well packed. So first off, big compliment, buddy, for packing it so well. You don't want these things to be damaged. Um, so you can see here that it was very well packed, which is great. Um, okay, so let's get all these things out of the way. I'm making a mess here in my office. Wow, but look at this little case for the dice. It's really sweet. These are just things from the foam that I can just take off. Really sweet, sweet little case. But of course it's about what's in it. So we're gonna open it. There we go, wow. Look at that, that is kind of sweet. They moved a little bit, I guess, in transport, so. But these are the dice, I'm just gonna take them out, I'm gonna show them to you from close by. Just make sure we can zoom in. These are the dice. So I, I want to try to use these when I'm streaming. I want to use them when I'm online. So I've got a set of black dice and a set of red dice that so you can really see the difference. Um, also when I'm playing online, I thought, you know, discuss it with Buddy. We thought it was a good idea to say, okay, for example, the black dice are mine and the red dice, they indicate the life total of my opponent. So then even when my opponent doesn't have a good life counter, which sometimes happens, you can still track the live counter through the two dice sets that I have on my play mat when I'm recording an online match. So we thought it might be a good idea, but really nice this case where you can put everything in. That's brilliant. So you made a nice little little foam pack to put them in. That is quite nice. Really sweet. 
Yeah, my camera is a little bit off and on. I'm sorry for that. It's kind of annoying. I am actually in the process of getting a new camera, uh, which will also have better sound when I record these type of videos. Nice. I really like them. Very cool. And I also have, let me have a look. Let me just take the, the old dice so we can kind of compare them in size. So they are a bit smaller, but they are bigger than like a regular die. So this, these are the ones I usually use when I'm, when I'm streaming right now, when I play online, also when I play offline real life, I take these dice with me. And these are the new ones. So here you see, there you go. That's kind of the comparison. And let me just get, oh, just your regular D6. This is the size of a regular D6. And this is the size of the bigger ones. So it's kind of in between these two sizes. Very, very nice. Thank you very much, buddy. And just one thing I'd like to highlight is just this beautiful case. And also this, this kind of, to me, it looks like a sea serpent. Right, as we all know, I'm, I'm a blue mage with the Timmy, of course, and I see this as a sea serpent. Let me know in the comments below what kind of magic card you link this to. And I, like I said, I see it as a sea serpent. Let me know, buddy, uh, what magic card this is, or is it just more a general trademark? I know you're a big fan of like Viking mythology, so maybe there's a link to that as well. Thank you very much, man, for this beautiful case. And of course, for the beautiful, beautiful dice. Absolutely epic. Um, and I would also like to thank you for watching another episode on Timmy Talks, the channel where we talk old school magic. And like I said, if you're interested in these handmade dice, he's, he uses a lot of different wood, a lot of different types. Check out his Instagram. Feel free. To, he told me that you can just send a message if you're interested. Like he's, he's all open to that stuff. So feel free to send a message if you're interested in this kind of stuff. For now, thank you very much for watching. Have a great day and I'll see you next week with another Mail Day video. Oh, and well, next week, of course, in between, I will be uploading new Magic Matches on Tuesday and on Friday. So if you're not a member yet, please subscribe and ring that bell. And you can also support the channel if you want to, and you can do that via Patreon. It's quite easy. If you link, uh, click on the info card that appears right now, that will take you to the Timmy Talks Patreon page. And um, there you can see how you can support the channel and the perks of when you become a Timmy Talks supporter. It already starts with $1 a month. So that's not a lot. So if you can miss it, I would really appreciate it. Talking about um, patrons, let's go to the end scroll and have a look at the fantastic wunderbar patrons and channel members of Timmy Talks. So let's go. What shall we do with the drunken sailor? What shall we do? Ik het als fik het is somber gezien.